Wilkins, and this is the documentary on Event 571. The date is October the 23rd, 2054. Kaylee Williams, 19 years old, four years after being found alive in the United States. Where did Event 571 get its name? It goes back a long time ago, about 47 years ago. For me to sit here and explain to you detail by detail, you still wouldn't understand. It's something that you had to be there for. It was back when the U.S. was a country and had a legal economy. Can you elaborate on that? There was a chain reaction of events that occurred that caused Event 571 to happen. Way back in 2007, 2008, the economy got really bad, and it progressed at a rapid pace, getting worse and worse. By the end of 2032, the U.S. had hit rock bottom. More than three-quarters of the U.S. population was unemployed or homeless. Landon was eight. Who was Landon? He was my brother. He was one of the first, I believe. He was specimen 571. The 71 was the number of all the kids, and 5 was the month that they were born in, May, hence 571. In the early 2030s, more and more construction sites started showing up, and no one knew what they were for. It turned out that the government was creating an underground facility. Then kids started to go missing. The government was abducting children to populate this facility. What really happened was because the economy got so bad, the government wanted to start over. So they nuked themselves and played it off as an accident. They used the underground facility to start over, but Landon Williams caught on and saved his sister, and the truth came out. What were you told in your country about the catastrophe of the United States? Lo que nos, nuestro país um, escuchó de Estados Unidos fue que había algo nuclear que el presidente estaba tratando de hacer para, para agarrar más dinero y cosas así. She said that scientists were experimenting with nuclear bombs and everything got mixed up and basically it wiped out the whole country. When did your brother find you? He found me two days before they blew up the whole country, and he left me with this journal. And this is a picture of my brother. Landon, right? Yeah. What yeah. was in the journals? Well, here's an entry. April 16th, 2042. I found a place no one knows about. You could live there. I've been looking for my parents. I think I have a sister. And after this, he found you and he took you away. He saved you. Yeah, he hid me from all the destruction that was going on underground. What do you think happened to him? I don't know. Maybe it got him. Maybe he disappeared just like the others. What was it like living in the facility? It was, it was home. It was all that I knew. It was a lot different than this place. This is a lot weirder than this place. How many people lived with you? Not that many. Nothing, nothing compared to this place. This place is, it's a lot more people. I don't know, I don't know who to talk to, who to associate myself with. It's just crazy. Well, what do you mean by that? Associate with? You can only talk to people your age. No one younger, no one older. Well, why? Why could you only associate yourself with your own age group? Because they didn't want you to become immature like the younger kids, or more mature like the older kids. Oh.